How are you doing today? My name is Mike Parnell with Industrial Training International. You know, we was asked a bit ago about describing the differences between a basic rigger signal person and a journeyman rigger, and maybe in a master rigger, and then what might a lift director do? I've given you some insights on the first two, but let's talk for a second about the master rigger. A master rigger really is a skill set level type position. There are some areas in the United States and around the world where there's actually master rigger tests or licenses that are produced for people that have a certain skill set or a certain knowledge set. When I'm talking about a master rigger, I'm talking about somebody that ha has a well-founded, well good academic training for rigging and, crane, and actually crane operations to some degree, but also it is he understands all the elements for basic rigor signal person, all about journeyman rigor, and he can direct those guys at ease. He may not, he's not likely an engineer. He's probably a guy that's a person that's spent a lot of time in the field and understands how all the machinery goes together. Because he's, he's well beyond just rigging slings to loads and lifting them with a mobile crane or an overhead crane. Take a look at some of the equipment back here with me. He may be well involved with winches and tuggers, air systems, hydraulic systems. He needs to be involved in jacks, both mechanical jacks, hydraulic jacks, even airbags used for lifting loads. He's, got, he's, he's a person that's well, well uh, trained and grounded in understanding different systems, different machinery, different components. How can he use those in concert to make a load move from point A to point B? Even we've got a big chain fall rack here. You only have to understand about chain fall for drifting loads in tight confines without an overhead crane where he's got to design a rigging method to, to tarzan the load out of an engine room or in a coal-fired steam plant with no headroom really available or use a trolley system to move the load. He's got to be sort of a jack of all trades. He needs to know when to contact the plant engineer or the building engineer to find out what kind of values, what kind of loads can be applied in what directions for different structural areas around the building, whether it's a column or beams, where he might have to attach to or want to attach to. He needs to work with the engineers very close in deciding, this is my method, this is a system, this is how we'd like to get that load moved. Can we anchor off to these various points and get the load handled through here? He's really a, a, a master of ceremonies when it comes to taking the rigging job and organizing and designing the rigging method all the way through. He's heavily involved in machinery moving from time to time. And that may be just transporting a load on Hillman rollers like this, or on a synthetic rollers or even air casters. He's really got a knowledge of a variety of types of equipment. Uh, he has to deal with inclined planes, load turning, two crane picks. He's, he's got a lot of knowledge in a lot of areas. And for management, they turn to that master rigger skill person to help solve problems on some of their tougher, uh, tougher load handling activities. Where he's well beyond a journeyman. He might not have all the pure knowledge that a lift director has, but he's probably the best technician available in that company with a skill set and a knowledge base that can uh, attack a job and get it handled uh, in an efficient manner. So. That's kind of the outline of a master rigger. He's a jack of a lot of trades, very capable person, considering a lot of uh, different systems and methods. He takes input from a lot of different people. He respects the engineering part of it, such that not to overload equipment or overload or do damage to the building and environment. And he makes sure that all his people are safe. This horizontal rigging can be very dangerous. He understands that he ultimately may be building a crane horizontally with a winching system. So where people work, the procedures, uh, the, the, the people placement and their job tasks, all those things can get people hurt in a hurry. That master rigger is trained to know. He knows how to get people in the right place, in the right location, uh, in the right time, and, and put the plan together that we minimize the risk and get the load moved. Well, listen, that's about what I have for master rigger. Listen, I'll, uh, you take care, and I'll talk to you real soon. See you later.